Hello everybody, we have a big trade news today. Joey Gallo has gone to the New York Yankees. This is what everyone was expecting. This is what everyone was predicting. I wasn't sure if the Rangers would actually pull the plug, but they did. So now the Yankees, who have won 9 out of their last 11 and have found some sort of spark, they're trying to make the, uh, the postseason. I believe they're three games behind Oakland, one game behind Seattle, and a, a half game ahead of uh, Toronto. So they're right in the hunt. Now they added Joey Gallo. After trading two of their better relievers to the Reds, they get Joey Gallo, though. This is going to help their offense a lot. Aaron Judge also back in the lineup today for the Yankees. So at this point, I would say there's a pretty good chance that they can catch the A's for that second wild card, and it could end up being potentially three AL East teams in the playoffs. Obviously, the Yankees are the ones that everyone thought would be there. The Rays when the, went to the World Series last year. The Red Sox are still probably the biggest surprise in the American League, and they are still leading that division. The Yankees probably won't catch the Red Sox, but I wouldn't be surprised if they can catch the A's and even the Tampa Bay Rays and get that fourth seed in the AL. They've got Gallo. They may be going for Trevor Story as well. Who knows about that one? But this is going to be a very interesting couple of months for New York because their fans are getting pretty angry, and now they're finally doing something about it. Meanwhile, the A's have also made a trade. They got Starling Marte for Jesus Lazardo. This is actually a really good trade for the Marlins, um, but also for the A's. I mean, the A's needed outfield help, and Mark Cannon has been uh, struggling with some injuries lately, and I think he's still out right now. So they get a good center fielder in Marte, and the Marlins, they get rid of a guy who didn't want to sign with them anyways, and they get Jesus Lazardo, who's a controllable young starting pitcher, to add to their rotation of a bunch of controllable young upside, high-talent starting pitchers. And the third trade today was the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. They acquired Eduardo Escobar from the Diamondbacks for a AAA utility man and a rookie infielder, neither of which I know their names. Sorry, I'm not that smart about baseball. And uh, this one kind of just makes me mad because I feel like the Mariners could have easily traded a utility guy and a rookie or even just two, two random guys in AAA who are pretty good to get Eduardo Escobar, another guy who won the last deal of his year. I mean, why did the Mariners not do that? How come the Brewers are the ones that jumped on that one? That just makes me, I mean, that just makes me silly. We could have traded, like, Taylor Trammell and Dylan Thomas to get Eduardo Escobar, who's an all-star. But instead, we, get, we let the Brewers take him, and um, now at this point, the Mariners are starting to run low on options. Hopefully, Mort Merrifield is coming soon. It looks like Trey Turner's not going to happen to the Mariners. That's uh, that's unfortunate, but that's the trade update today. Three big trades. Gallo, obviously, is the top trade of the day. More trades should be coming up in the next couple of days. This has been the NW Sportscast. Thanks for watching.